choose which colour to paint it. Right. Mm. Gosh, it's messy in here. There's broken glass all over the floor. It's a bit dangerous. I'd better sweep that up later. I wonder where it can have come from. All uh, right, Marjorie, here are the paints you were talking about. There's uh, post box red. Mm. Cornflower blue. And uh, seasick green. Uh, seasick green? Never heard of that shade of green before. Well, I'm not sure I like the sound of that very much. Well, I expect it's the shade of green you go when you're feeling seasick. Hmm. Mm. Well, I think it's between the red and the blue. Mm. So, what colour shall we paint the stool? Red. Blue. Uh, red, Tiddler. Blue. It's a much nicer colour. No, you don't I understand. I could mix the two together and make purple. Mm. Right then, we'll have to toss for it. Head for red and tails for blue. Well, hey, Marjorie, watch what you're doing. You should have caught that coin. What's that funny noise from the roof? I don't know, Marjorie. It sounded like a creaking sound. There it is again. You what? Ah! Oh, all over my face! Ouch! Come what? on, everybody! What's going on? Wait, what's going on? What? Oh. Ah, yeah, that were a close thing. Lucky I got us out of there in time. Mm. That could have been a nasty accident. But it wasn't you got us out, Mossop. It was Marjorie. Well, I was just about to, Tiddler. It's just she interrupted me. That's all. That roof yeah. is obviously not safe. I wonder what can have happened to it. Oh, don't you remember, Marjorie? When the Riddlestones fell out of the sky, one of them landed on the greenhouse roof. Well, oh, that's right, Tiddler. That is right. Uh, and there, I think, is one of the very Riddlestones in question. Uh, ah, that must be the answer then. When the Riddlestone fell on the roof, it must have damaged it. Uh, do you want me to mend that roof for you, Marjorie? It's nothing to a riddler like me is mending roofs. I just need some sellotape, some drawing pins, a ladder... No, no, it's all right, Mossop. Don't worry, I wouldn't want you falling off and breaking your neck. I'll get a builder in to do it. But until it's mended, we better make sure that nobody else goes in there. I mean, it would be terrible if Mr Grimley popped in to borrow some tools and hurt himself. Right you are, Marjorie. I will guard it day and night, so I will. Won't we, Tiddler? Well, you don't need to go to all that trouble, Mossop. I can put a notice warning of the danger. Oh, look, I can use that sign there. Uh, Marjorie, I, I don't mention this, but um, that sign says for sale. It doesn't say anything about damaged roofs or danger. No, but the other side is blank, Mossop. I can write my sign on that. All right, everybody, let's all have a go at this. Three pairs of hands is better than one, I always say. Come on, Tiddler. Everybody, okay. everybody. Everybody, oh. 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 everybody all right? Yes, if Tiddler could just get her foot out of my ear. Oh. Oh. All right, then, let's, let's get this post over to the oh. greenhouse. Oh. Oh. Now, with any luck, I won't have to put the for sale sign back up. Grab that end, Tiddler. I mean, if I can make some money selling the spring water, then I might not have to sell the house. Are you having the water tested, Marjorie? Yes. So let's hope everything goes well. Fingers crossed, eh? Mossop! I see you've bought out the red paint. Well done. That'll be just perfect for writing out our sign. I think blue would have been better. Oh, no, Tiddler. Red's the right colour for a warning. Dane. Just think of traffic lights. What do they mean when they're red? I'm stuck. Stop. It's not safe to go. Most signs warning of danger are in red. Just like ours. Keep out. Hmm. Danger, keep out. That should do the trick. Right. Let's go and paint that stool. It'll have to be red, though, Tiddler, because the blue paint's still inside the greenhouse and it's not safe to go in for it. Mm. Never mind, Tiddler. You can't win them all. <laughs> go on, then. Oh! Just a minute, we nearly forgot that there riddle stone. Uh, Another Aesop's foible for you, Tiddler. I've got it. Here you are, Tiddler. Right, let's go. Right. What's it going to be? Stool painting or foible? Uh, the foible, I think, Marjorie. I want to see if I can work out what the moral is. Very well, then. Now, listen carefully, Tiddler. See if you can see what the moral is in this story. Right. Ease up. Ease up. 
Tell us a story, do. One day, a fox was walking along, thinking about chicken for lunch, which is something foxes think about a lot. He was thinking so hard about chicken, in fact, that he wasn't looking where he was going, and that's how he came to fall in a well. Fortunately, this well wasn't the deep and dangerous type. In fact, it was quite shallow. But the sides of the well were smooth and covered in slippery moss, so that every time the fox tried to climb out, he slipped and fell back again with a splash. So it wasn't too long before he stopped thinking about chicken for lunch and started to think about how he was ever going to get out of the well. As he was thinking, a lollop came lolloping by, yodeling softly to itself. Now, lollops aren't the most intelligent of creatures, and this particular lollop was even dafter than most. And as if to prove how daft it was, it looked down at the fox in the well and made a very daft remark. You're falling in a well then, it said. Now the fox was a particularly foxy type of fox, very clever and sly, and he saw how useful the lollop might be in helping him to get out of the well. So instead of saying, of course I've fallen in a well, you great big daft looking lollop, which is what you might have expected him to say, he said something quite different. Fallen in a well? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I jumped in here to have a drink. You see, the water in this well is the most wonderful tasting water in the whole wide world. Is it? replied the lollop, looking dafter than ever. And is anybody allowed to taste it? Oh, of course, said the fox. Hop in. And without a second thought, well, without even a first thought, if the truth were known, the lollop jumped into the well. And after he'd drunk his fill, the lollop turned to the fox and said, That was good. Now, how do we get out? Oh, easy, said the fox. If I climb onto your back, I can jump out as easy as anything. And then I'll pull you out after me. Oh, good idea, said the lollop, stupidly. So the fox jumped onto his back, jumped out of the well, and then went trotting away over the fields. Oi, shouted the lollop. What about me? How do I get out? You should have thought of that before you jumped into the well, the fox called back over his shoulder. And with that, he hurried away, thinking about how daft lollops can be and wondering where he might get a chicken for lunch. Now, tell me, Tiddler, what lesson have you learnt from that? Um, never to trust a fox when he's stuck in a well. No, although that's something always worth bearing in mind. No, think about the lollop, Tiddler. Think about what he did and what he ought to have done. Well, before he jumped into the well, he ought to have made sure that he could get out again. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have been so careless. That's it, Tiddler. That's the moral all right. Don't be careless. Look before you leap. Well done, Tiddler. Um, talking of careless people, I said I'd meet Middler this afternoon. I'd better go and see if he's arrived. Ah, where did you say you were going to meet him? Down the well? Uh, no, in the... <gasps> in the greenhouse, Marjorie. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's a good job we put that warning notice outside. But will he pay any attention to it? You know what he's like. That we do, that we do. Careless as young rascal I ever did meet his young middler. I wouldn't put it past him to go blundering into that there greenhouse. Notice or no notice. Come, we must go and stop him. <laughs> Tiddler! Tiddler! Uh, are you in here, Tiddler? Is that you, Tiddler? Ah! Oh, Wick. Midler? Midler, are you in there? Oh! <gasps> Come on out, young Midler! It's dangerous in there! I can't! I can't move! Why not, eh? Oh, I'm scared to! Hold on, Midler! I'm coming to get you. But, Mossop, you can't! It's dangerous in there! The roof might cave in! That it might, Tiddler! That it might! And we don't want it caving in on that young rapscallion now, do we? Hmm? <laughs> Help! Never fear, Midler! Mossop's here! Be careful, Mossop! It's all right, young Midler. Come along with me now. I'm scared! Of course you're scared, but you'll just come along. There's a good lad. 
Okay, oh, it's all coming down. Quick! Out you go! Save yourself, Midler! Oh, Midler, thank goodness you're all right. Where's Mosso? Huh? Oh, he must be still in there. He pushed me out ahead of him. <gasps> Mosseb! You definitely want to get that roof mended, Marjorie. Not safe at all, that roof ain't. Oh, Mosso, we thought something dreadful had happened to you. Midler, why on earth did you go in there? Didn't you see the notice? Oh, yes, but there didn't seem to be anything dangerous in the greenhouse, so far as I could see. People don't put warning signs up just for fun, you know. Even though you couldn't see any danger, you should have done what the notice said and kept out. Well, believe you me, I ain't never going to ignore no warning sign, never again, no how. I was ever so scared in there. I should think you were. And who knows what would have happened to you if Mossop hadn't come to your rescue. It was ever so brave of you, Mossop. You're a real hero. He's a hero. He's the bravest of the brave. He's just a hero. That's how heroes should behave. He's a hero. He's as daring as could be. Such a hero is he. He's a hero. He's the bravest of the lot. Shows no fear. Nerves to steal or what is good. He's a hero. And he's playing for all to see. Such a hero is he. He's a hero. He's the boldest of the bold. Shows no fear. And his story should be told. He's a hero. He's a full of gallantry. Such a hero. Is he? Well, I wouldn't say I was exactly a hero. Oh, but you are, Mossop. Well, all right. You've convinced me. <laughs> come on, come into the house and I'll get you cleaned up. Oh, and I can put a, a plaster on that cut you've got there. Cut? Yes, look. You cut your hand here. It's only a little one, but I'll put a plaster on. Mm. Mossop? It's all right, Marjorie. He's just fainted. Fainted? What's made him faint? Seeing that cut, he may be a hero, but he never could stand the sight of blood. I don't think it is blood. It's red paint. He hasn't even cut himself after all. <laughs> <laughs> what a hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> silly was it? Thank you.